Wing TV with Victor Thorne and Lisa Giuliani. The revolution is being televised. Hello, it's Wednesday, May 4th, and you're watching Wing TV. I'm Lisa Giuliani. And I'm Victor Thorne. Welcome to Wing TV. Alex Jones, this is going out specifically to you. You better start answering some questions because this censorship scandal is spiraling out of control and a lot of people want to know what you are up to. Now, before we get into some specifics, we want to say a big thank you to the American Free Press and also to Pat Shannon. He wrote that whole page article right there about the Oklahoma City Speakers Forum, and um, a lot of great people were there. Mm-hmm. He um, gave a mention to Lisa and myself. He quoted Lisa's speech and then also told about how I was dragged out of an area while I was listening to speeches by Dick Cheney and Bill Clinton and so forth. And the specific reason was I was wearing a T-shirt that they didn't like. So, um, you know, go to the American Free Press. It's the best newspaper in America. There's an awesome picture on the front of Pat Shannon with General Ben Parton and Hoppy Heidelberg, the yeah. OKC survivors. So check it out. It's a great newspaper. It really is. Now, we have to get back here mm-hmm. to Alex Jones. There's a lot going mm-hmm. down the pike since yesterday. And um, we were going to start this show off by playing a montage that was put together from Alex Jones' show, where yesterday we told you how on Monday... Alex comes on and says, there's no censorship on this show. Then yesterday, he either directly or indirectly censored two callers right in a row. The first person, he just spoke over the whole time and didn't let them get anything in after he wanted to ask him a question about Wing TV. Then the second caller, Stephen from Ohio, actually got hung up on. So we're going to play this montage together and let you hear for yourself what a hypocrite Alex Jones is. The only problem... Now, and it's a big problem, was that the person who was going to put all this together, he's a subscriber to GCN. Well, he said when he went in to find this transcript, first of all, there was a delay in the show coming up, a delay that was longer than usual, so he he couldn't find it right away. Then he finds out that the second hour in the archives, the one where these callers called in, Stephen from Ohio, his call was actually deleted from the archive. Completely erased as if he'd never called at all. Now, what do you call this, folks? This is direct and blatant censorship. Alex Jones went in and censored this call out of there. Now, the, the person who was going to put all this together for us said that the second hour in the archives was about 40 seconds shorter than the first hour and the third hour. The only clue that there was... Callers from that there were callers from Ohio on the line is 19 minutes 13 to 15 seconds into the second hour. Alex does say he has two callers on the line from Ohio. Unfortunately, one of them, Steve, doesn't even get to be heard after the live broadcast because he was completely wiped out of the archive. Right. So now to verify who did this, we wanted we didn't want to blame Alex if it wasn't his fault. So this morning, Lisa called GCN and found out straight from the horse's mouth who is responsible. Fill them in. I called and spoke with Scott at GCN and asked who is responsible for show content. Is it the individual hosts or GCN responsible for the archive content? And he said the hosts, that all GCN does is upload the shows to the Internet. So it looks like it was Alex. So we want to repeat this one more time. Alex went in to the archives of his show and censored out the 40 seconds where this individual from Ohio called into a show, censored it out. Now, these are desperate, that is a desperate, desperate act. measures, and this is the height of hypocrisy. Now, not only is it bad enough that he hung up on the caller... Because if, we, if, if someone like that would call into Bill O'Reilly's show or Rush Limbaugh or Air America or Tony Snow or any of those, and they want to talk about 9-11, of course, they're going to get hung up on. Right. That's the mainstream media. But That's what they do. They get hung up on by the grandfather of 9-11, right. who then says what? <laughs> that it's not a serious issue. They yeah. only talk about serious right. issues now, we're on gonna, the show. We're, I know Stephen's going to play the tape. But I want to just read real quick the transcript. Alex starts off, let's go next to Stephen, Ohio. And Steve says, how are you doing, Alex? Alex responds, good. Then Steve says, real quick, I have two things I want to talk about. But I did want to say one thing. Victor Thorne and Lisa Giuliani of WingTV.net did a beautiful job of doing the 9-11 on trial. Are you familiar with it? Right then, Alex hangs up the phone. We were listening. And he says, thanks for the call, sir. Sounds like the individual himself. 
that was referring to me. But seriously, my broadcast is about serious issues. Now, is he implying that 9-11 isn't a serious issue? We also got an email from someone today that verified. They said they went into the GCN archives and that this whole conversation was censored out. Now, anyone that's read the book 1984 knows that the protagonist, the main character in the book, Winston Smith, his job is to go into the news archives and censor out or delete or erase information that doesn't jive or coincide mm -hmm. with the official party line. He's a censor. That's what he does as a job. Now, this is the, the archetypal book about Big Brother, and Alex Jones is doing exactly and precisely what Winston Smith did in this book. He went into the archives of his show and deleted, censored out information. Now, why, would it, why on earth would he do such a thing? The man was not yelling. He was not being insulting or offensive. And the man is a fan of his and doesn't want to engage in any character assassination, nor do we. We simply want some questions answered, and we don't find Alex Jones above questioning, although many of you out there do. Yeah. Now, that's why we said... Alex Jones better start answering some questions because the buzz is starting all over. And what me and Lisa plan on doing now is calling in all these different shows on GCN, RBN, and other independent shows, and we're letting people know what's taking place here. If we're going to accept somebody censoring, directly censoring information, then why don't we just give up and quit everything? I mean, we had a call right before, about two minutes before we went on air, from a 9-11 activist. And we told him about that. And this guy kind of laughed it off and said, well, that's just Alex being Alex. So Can you if, believe it? If we saw Alex murdering someone, for example, would we just say, well, that's Alex? Yeah. Should we excuse that too? And, of course, not ask any questions. Because if we would ask Alex, why did you murder that person? Or Alex, why are you censoring your archives? And why are you censoring news articles on your site? That would be an attack. That's not an attack. It's a question. It's a question. Right. And, and before we bring Stephen on, we want to just say this, that if we can't trust Alex Jones to not even go into his archives and, and not censor them, if we can't trust Alex to give us accurate, honest archives, how can we trust anything else this individual is saying? I'd like to add to that that we don't find this type of behavior acceptable with the mainstream media. Why should we find it acceptable with the independent media that's supposed to be holding itself to a higher standard, a higher bar? Right. Is this what we want? Is we, I mean, like, we know that the New York Times and we know that Newsweek and we know that Limbaugh and all those guys are lying. But at least they're not going into their... I mean, if you want to find an article from the New York Times from July 4th of 1999, more than likely it's going to be there intact. But if you go to Alex Jones's archive from yesterday... It's going to be censored. This is worse. Worse. It's like what incentive do people have to call into his show if they might be possibly erased later yeah. on from the refeed? I mean, yeah, what if you call into Alex's show and he doesn't agree with you? Then you go back to the archive to hear it, and he has you censored out. I'm saying right now, this is Big Brother behavior, and Alex Jones is acting exactly like Big Brother. The problem is that it was broadcast live, and a lot of people heard right. this caller talking to Alex on the show yesterday. Yeah. So I don't know how he jives with not yeah. putting it on the archive. And people are sending us emails mm -hmm. verifying that they heard it live too, and they went into the archives and it's now deleted. They say anyone who didn't hear the show live wouldn't have any idea that it was even on there. This is censorship. It's really disrespectful to yeah. his listeners, too, now, especially the caller who happens to be a big fan of his. Right. Now, we're going to go to Steve. You there, Steve? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Now, this is Steve from Ohio. This is the individual that called in Alex's show yesterday that we've been speaking about. This is the guy that got censored off of. Let him tell what happened. Okay. Go ahead, Go ahead Steve. Steve. Well, basically, I want to say that you guys did a real great parry with that Alex Jones on the on uh, Monday. Well, thanks. And, and I really guy. enjoyed that. So I decided, well, I might as well just still call him on Tuesday and, you know, point out to him that, you know, hey, get you guys on the show. And being an avid fan of his and having about six of his videos, I figured, well, I already kind of suspected at some degree that he was very fishy. He was patronizing Art Bell. But I, I, I was skeptical. I wasn't sure if you guys were totally telling the truth. So sure enough, I called. And uh, when I went in, I, the first caller that called in 
uh, it was kind of weird because he immediately talked over him. Right. But then when I got out, I wasted no time, and, of course, he cut me off right away. Right, we heard that. Yeah, yeah he hung up on you. Now, after he, because we're listening to this, Steve, live, and right after he hung up on you, he insinuated that it was me calling. Now, we want to verify, was this you that called? Yes, it was me, Steve, from Ohio. Um, I've ordered uh, six videos. I've sent him videos in the past. He knows who I am. Um, you know, and uh, so I, I, if you're listening to this, Alex, you know who it is, Steve from Ohio. Okay, now, I read part of the, or the transcript that you sent us. Could you play us the tape that you recorded while this was there? Because some people say, well, show us the proof. We would like to hear the proof right now of this call. Okay, I have it. I, um, I wasn't taping it off my shortwave. I had that in a box. Um, but I just put the speaker up to the phone for like about 40, 50 seconds okay. when I got it hooked on or so. So um, basically, this is the lie. This is exactly what happened, okay? Okay, got it. Here it goes. <laughs> So um, right there he says, first of all, you can hear Alex hanging up on Stephen, insinuating that it was me making a call. And like Lisa said yesterday, I was actually in the bathroom putting on my shirt, getting ready for the show. And then you can hear Alex saying that he, he on his show he only deals with serious issues. So now tell us what happened last night then. Or you called into a radio show last night and actually didn't get hung up on. Is that correct? Yeah, I want to direct everybody, since you guys don't censor other people, um, there's a guy named Peter Principal who comes on the RBN radio network uh, for now. They, he's coming on for one hour. I think it's a 7 to 8 central time. But I did recap what happened on Alex's show, so you can go in the uh, May 3rd, 2005 archives and find that. But I just made, basically made mention of the fact that although I like what Alex has done, he's also cheapened the patriotic movement with his infomercial style, and he censored you guys. Exactly. We really appreciate you doing yeah. that, but what I really also appreciate is that Peter let you say what you had to say without cutting you off or calling you names or hanging up on you, and we think that's uh, cool of him. Well, the thing is Peter Schenk, and I really like his show because he's one of these people that's not afraid to say the, uh, you know, I mean, he'll let you say what you want to say on there, even if he doesn't agree with it. But, uh, uh, again, with, with the thing that was a pet peeve with Alex Jones is the fact that he defends, uh, you know, Art Bell and George mm -hmm. Norrie when it's obvious that they, they have the most censored news and they don't allow any real 9-11 seekers to get on their show. Right. Now, one last thing, Stephen. When, when people say... When they excuse Alex for censoring information like this, and they say, oh, well, that's just Alex being Alex, what would you say to a person like that? I would say, well, being Alex, I mean, in other words, if he's a bonehead, it's okay to be a bone. I mean, that, that's, that doesn't excuse. It's like saying, well, so-and-so's a cranky old codger. It doesn't make it right. Um, if, if Alex is being egotistical, then it just means that, uh, you know, it, 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 that's not excusable behavior. Exactly. I was told by someone that Alex, Alex feels offended by us. I, I can't imagine what we did in, initially to offend him except question him. But the, how, here, how do you here, feel I'll about give you my, my scoop on it. it. What it is is there's a lot of egotistical right. uh, patriotic movement out there. I've seen that everyone has their own proprietary agenda. And if something, if, if somebody is challenging them and they want to be on top of the game, then they just blow them off. Yeah, I, I couldn't say it better. And um, I just want everyone out there to know that Stephen is an, an, an example that everybody should follow. When he's listening to our show, he said, well, I want to verify if this is true or not. So instead of just wondering or posting a message, right. he picked up his telephone, called into Alex Jones' show. He called into another show later on that night. He took action. And this is what we're telling everyone to do. Take action. And Stephen, 
Just thank you. Stephen, I, I want to tell you what's so, something that Alex said today. He said, it's not about left or right. It's about right or wrong. You want to well, comment? <laughs> Well, then just, to, yeah, I mean, you know what, Alex, if you're listening to this right now, we're not trying to badmouth your character. Just tell the truth. Right. Let Lisa on your show or come on their show and don't play these games. And, and, and the more, and we need to call more television or radio stations on the Internet and tell them what's going on. Uh, and if I have to play that tape over again, I'll do it just to prove it. Yeah. Well, Stephen, thank you so much. Will you send us the cassette of that? Yes, I will. I'll send you that, okay? Hey, I'll also send you the clip where he says the CIA or the government, the New World Order is going to kill me soon. <laughs> yeah, well, he's been saying that for 10 years. Do that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was going through my listening to it yesterday. He goes, they're out to kill me. I'm like, oh, please. Yeah, exactly. He said it again sort of today, yeah. the whole death thing. Yeah. Well, Stephen, thank you so much. Keep up the good work, and uh, I'm sorry you didn't make it to Oklahoma City. Maybe I'll make it to New York this year. Oh, we'd love to we see you. We hope you do. And um, thank you once again. Thanks, Steve. Bye-bye. bye bye, bye. Well, there you have it, folks. Now, proof. Nothing more needs to be said. We have the transcript. We have verification from independent listeners. And now we have the actual tape that Stephen made if, from the show. If that was as distorted sounding on the playback as it is to me when we first heard yeah, it, it probably didn't come through, through the mic, good. we're going to have it on our website soon as soon as we get the cassette yeah. from Steve. And we'll, we'll have a clearer version of yeah. it if you can't hear it now. Yeah. And you know what's bad is not only is Alex Jones a censor, but when he comes on his show and he says there's no censorship on his show, and then he censors... The very next day. The very next day, he's not only a censor, he's a liar. And, you know, some people might not want to say that. I'm saying it right now. Alex Jones is a liar. He's engaging in Big Brother-type censorship well, activities. If it wasn't bad enough to hang up on the callers and cut them off and not allow them to speak when he encourages all of his listeners to call in... But then to go and wipe it out as if it never happened, yeah. although how many millions maybe of people heard it on the live broadcast? Yeah. Now, here's one thing Alex does on his show. He calls people Lord, people that don't answer questions for their actions. So he'll say, like, Lord Bush, Lord Rumsfeld, Lord Rothschild. Well, guess what? Alex isn't answering any questions for his, aunt, his actions. What if we start calling him Lord Alex? Lord Jones, because he's mirroring exactly what the mainstream media is doing. And um, and for those of you who are having concerns about our credibility and and what's going to happen to us, we don't have any fear of that because we know we're telling the truth. Right. And that's what we're trying to tell you. Alex Jones isn't above questioning. We're not above questioning. You're not above questioning. You know how easy. Nobody is. You know how easy it would be for us to come out here and just go with the flow. Not ask any questions, not say anything controversial, not hold anybody's feet to the fire. It'd be real easy. We wouldn't get any nasty emails. Lisa's getting stuff, especially from men, that's just incredible that they would talk to a woman like that. And um, Alex is becoming a mirror of the mainstream, and we're getting a lot of feedback from people actually in the alternative mainstream that haven't spoken out yet. But they're saying this. I got a, an email from somebody in Austin, Texas, that says that Alex goes down to his public access station and throws his weight around. And if somebody says something that he doesn't agree with, he has this guy fired or kicked off the station. This guy's a bully. He's mirroring the mainstream. Why are we tolerating this guy? One guy did email me, and he called to, and he asked if there's any way we could forgive Alex. Well, I don't think he owes Victor and I any apologies, yes. but I think he owes his listeners an apology. And first of all, in order to forgive someone, they should at least show that they can recognize they did something wrong and feel some remorse about it. Is Alex so high? And he doesn't even recognize yeah. he did anything wrong. You know, Alex always talks about this pyramid, you know, this hierarchy pyramid. Does Alex see himself as so high on this that he doesn't have to answer questions? Everybody out there, why aren't we asking him? If you believe in what we're saying, call up every radio show that you know and tell them what's going on. We That's have the only hold, way Alex is going to know. We have to hold ourselves to a higher standard. We can't be like the mainstream media and the solid majority. We have to find this behavior unacceptable, especially from prominent, visible spokespersons for any of these movements. Exactly. And um, one last thing. You know, well, there's a term called cognitive dissonance. Do you remember how hard it was when you found out that Fox, CNN, CBS, the U.S. government wasn't telling you the truth? Do you remember how hard that was for you to accept? Well, now we're reaching the next level where it's people like Alex Jones.
that are lying to you, engaging in direct censorship. This is hard for some people to accept. It's a bitter pill to swallow. But folks, this is going on, and if we overlook it, if we excuse it, if we don't ask him about it, it's going to keep going on. And is that what we want from the mainstream media or from people, alternate media? And some people have said, well, it seems like you just resent him because he makes a lot of money. That's no. not the issue. We could care less how much money Alex Jones makes, but he has no business selling fear and paranoia. And censoring and lying on top of that. Tonight we're going to be on the Visigoth radio show from the grassy knoll. It'll be on, we'll be on from 6 to 7 Eastern Time. We're going to talk about this more tonight. Tune in, and folks, call the radio shows. Don't let Alex Jones get away with this. If we don't call him on it, then does anything whatsoever matter to with us? With great power comes responsibility. Great responsibility. Remember that. We'll see you tomorrow. Keep your eyes open, and better yet, open your mouth and speak up, because that's what it's for.